Welcome to DH Hair Makeup, a powerful tool for anyone working in the hair or makeup department. DH Hair Makeup lets the entire department work independently, but at the same time allows you to share all photos and continuity notes with the touch of a button. In this tutorial, we'll explore basic navigation, importing your script, building a database of looks information using photos and notes while on set, managing budgets, and generating pages for a final book. Let's get started. Once DH Hair Makeup is installed on your iPad, you'll need an importable script to get started. DH Hair Makeup can import four different script formats, unencrypted PDF, Final Draft with Locked Pages, or .fdx, .mmx exports from ScreenWriter for Mac OS, and Scripty Encrypted Outputs, or .scripty. Contact techsupport at scriptysystems.com for any help while importing your script. To begin using DH Hair Makeup, let's create a project file. Open DH Hair Makeup and tap the Add button. A prompt will open, asking you to enter a name for the new production. Tap Create the file when finished or press the Enter button on the keyboard. Your home window will now display your newly named file. Tap the File folder to open the project and begin working. You'll first be presented with a character window where you can enter character names and numbers from the 80s day out of days. It is not necessary to add character numbers ahead of time. This can be done at any time prior to printing out your reports. Navigate DH Hair Makeup's various views using the buttons along the bottom of your screen. Buttons that are highlighted indicate the active view. In this section, we'll be manually adding characters for Episodic TV. If you would like to automatically add characters, watch the video about importing your script. Tap the Add button beneath the Characters list and add all characters by character number. Be sure to spell all character names exactly as they are spelled in the script. It is not necessary to add character numbers ahead of time. This can be done at any time prior to printing out your reports. For episodic TV users, check Recurring for Regular Cast and export a character list containing all recurring characters from this episode. Then, import it to another episode project file. Once your characters are entered, you are ready to import your script. Open the source file and tap the Character tab. Then, tap Export. This will create a hidden list of all the character names and numbers ready for import by your new file. While in a new file, tap the Import button. A list of available character lists will be displayed. Select the list and your file will automatically be populated with the character list from the earlier episode. You can open your character list at any time to add, shuffle, or delete characters that aren't in the current episode. Before importing a script, be sure to open the project in which you'll be working. Then, navigate to your mail app and find the email that contains the attached importable script from your script coordinator. Download the attachment by tapping once, then press and hold on the attachment to open up the share menu. Tap on DH Hair Makeup. Choose Add to Folder and your script will appear in the script files list. Tap Add Revision. A revision window with the default title Latest Revision will be added to the list. Rename the placeholder and type in the proper revision title. Tap the script in the script files list. The script will now be highlighted. Tap Import Script. Your script will import and DH Hair Makeup will display a preview of the script. Tap Done to dismiss the script window. Tap Proceed 
and the scene windows will populate with the imported script. Once imported, tap OK. You are now ready to start your breakdown and begin filling your character bag and building your looks. Now that your script has been imported, you are ready to start filling in your character bag and breaking your script down into continuity days and looks. Tap on Scene 1. You'll notice that scene headings have already been extracted during the importation process. You will also see that the speaking characters are listed for you in the middle of the page, and the script itself is available for you to read in the lower right-hand section of your screen. When in Script View, notice the five tabs listed across the middle of the right side of this window. Characters, Extras, Slug, Shoot Days, and Questions. Use these tabs to navigate as you break down each scene. Fill in the chronology line, D1, N1, and if available, time of day. Knowing the day breaks and the time of day will help you establish where new looks might occur. This information should come from your script supervisor or AD's breakdown. During the importation process, DH Hair Makeup will have already identified all speaking characters for you. Add any additional non-speaking numbered characters. Marking characters as non-speaking will lock them in the scene even when revisions are imported. The Extras tab is used for non-numbered background actors. To add characters to the scene, tap the Add button on the right side of the characters list. Select each character that you want to add by tapping the character's name in the list. Then. For each character, choose speaking or non-speaking. It is important to mark a character as non-speaking so that all the corresponding breakdown notes associated with that character will stay locked. Be sure to list non-speaking characters as non-speaking so that when a revision is imported, you don't lose the notes you made for that character. After selecting all characters needed for the scene, tap Add to Scene. This will add the highlighted characters to the scene. If you mistakenly add a character to the scene, swipe from right to left, and then choose Delete. Add any extras when you receive the 80s background breakdown. To add an extra, tap the Add button. Tap Add New Extra. Name your extra, and fill in the quantity required as one. To add more than one extra at a time, you can use the Extras by Type method. Tap the Add button and enter in the type as Gallery Patrons and Quantity Required, for example, 25. DH Hair Makeup will create 25 background character spots, each requiring a look. Tap the Slug tab and enter in a brief summary of the scene. This description will be part of several of your breakdown forms and is a great way to communicate what a scene is about to your crew. You will link scenes to your schedule and calendar in this window. We'll come back to this after we've received a shooting schedule. Use this tab to create a list of questions that you have for your director, producers, ADs, or other departments. Questions will appear in scene order at the end of your long-form scene breakdown. It's easiest to create a new look for each continuity day and note changes from scene to scene in the Continuity Notes section. Adding a look is easy and can be done from either the script window or the character window. Tap the script button and the script window will open. View the characters and extras in the highlighted scene by tapping the corresponding tab. To add a new look for the character in the scene, tap the plus tab to the right of the character's name. Tap Add Look. 
you may now number the look and move on, or begin to fill in items in the character bag and attach them to the look. You will be taken back to the previous window, where the new look will now be highlighted yellow. Tap the yellow highlighted look, then tap the Save Selection tab. The look will be added to the scene, and you will be back in your scene window, ready to continue. As you continue to break down your script and gather more information from the AD department and director, remember to add in all non-speaking characters and extras so you can have all of the personnel and supplies that you will need when shooting begins. Once you've entered in all characters and extras, you are now ready to attach looks to each character in the scene. Building character bags and looks can happen at the same time. As you begin to build looks, you can photograph test looks and attach them to your file. Work in any order you like. Remember, DH Hair Makeup allows you to work in whatever order best suits your process. You can save time by filling in budget information as you build your looks and fill your character bags. DH Hair Makeup allows you to update your budget information as you work and generate a simple budget report at any stage of the process. We recommend adding in a rough budgeting idea for each character by look by filling in each look window. Be sure to enter in the exact cost and other purchase information for each item and duplicates as you fill the character bags. Let's begin in the Characters window. Tap the Edit button for a character in the list. Select the character's gender and then fill in the section for the actor's name, character abbreviation, a brief character description, and then select actor preferences as to product types, allergies, and so on. To add a new actor preference from the list of defaults, simply tap the Add Actor Preference button, then enter descriptions further outlining those preferences. Note that you can add or delete defaults from the Actor Preference window for the project via the Configure button in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. To make a change in the current project only, tap Configure from within the project. To make this same change stick to all future productions, simply close the project and select the Configure button from the main project window. Tap the Character button. A Characters List window will now open with all numbered characters appearing in a list on the left. Tap the desired character to reveal a list of that character's character bag items and looks. Tap the Add to Character Bag button under the Character Bag and you can begin to enter items. There are fields for quantity to indicate where duplicates are needed as well as a description box. You can easily switch between character looks and character bags. From the character screen, tap the character for whom you'll be adding looks. To add a new look, tap the Add Look button. Once you have added looks, you may also tap a look in the list to add items for that look. In the Look screen, tap the Add button in the Character Bag section. 
Type a title such as Blonde Extensions or Scar Appliance. Enter the quantity required, such as when a duplicate might be needed. Otherwise, just enter 1 and tap Next on the keyboard. If necessary, type in a description. To enter the size or cost information, tap the item in the individual items list. Fill in the necessary information in the item window, then tap Done. If necessary, use the Is Asset checkbox to help track hot costs for production. Tap Done for the closet item, and the item will be added to the character's character bag. Continue this process for each item in the look. Once all items are in the character bag, you may then select each item for the look by tapping an item in the character bag. The list of individual items for the character bag will be displayed in the list below. Tap the specific item to add it to the look. If a new item is needed, add it to the character bag and then add it to the look. Tap the Master Photos tab, then tap Add, and capture photos using your iPad or import photos directly from your camera roll. Once photos are loaded, you may enter in descriptions and flag photos as test photos, established, or on set continuity. The Character Breakdown is a succinct report of all the characters and their looks. Tap the Reports button and select the Character Breakdown. Tap the Preview button to preview your report. Tap the Send button to create an email with your character look breakdown attached in PDF format. When the AD department provides you with the shooting schedule, you can quickly apply this schedule to your file. Tap the Production button. This will open a shoot days list. Tap Add Shoot Day and enter your day and date. Tap the Add Scene button in the Scheduled Scenes list and select a scene from the pop-up list. Be sure to select the scenes in shooting order. Repeat for each scene that is being shot that day. If you've already filled in look information, that information will transfer to the center window for easy reference. In order to link your project to the Calendar app, tap the Configure button and check Sync with Calendar app. Navigate to the Production tab. Fill in the dates of production by pressing the Add Shoot button and modifying the corresponding date. Switch to your iPad's calendar app. The shoot days you fill in will automatically be added to the selected default calendar. To share your project file with your crew, simply close the project and return to the home page. Tap the Remote tab on the Project folder. Then tap the Add Recipient button and name a copy of the file for a crew member. Tap Create Remote File and choose whether or not to include budget information. A share window will open. Choose your desired method for sharing the file. Please remind your onset representative to only enter notes and continuity photos in the Continuity Notes and Photos section. If you've sent out a remote file to any members of your team to fill in character bag details or any other work, it's a good idea to have them return their files to you so that they can sync their work with your project file. It's important to have everyone return their remote files before importing any revised scripts. Remember that DHair Makeup allows you to import each revision as it is published 
and always have the most recent changes at hand. Remember, it's important to have your first project file open before importing a remote file. From here, double press the Home button and navigate to your mail app and find the email that contains the remote file. Long press the remote file icon and choose DH Hair Makeup. Now, close your project and tap the Remote tab on the desired project folder and tap Sync Remote File to update your master file. Once your character bags, looks, and schedule are filled in, you are ready to start shooting. DH Hair Makeup is designed for stability, efficiency, and accuracy. It's up to the department head to make certain that their crew is properly inputting information into the file and that all remote files are resynced at the end of each workday. If an onset hair or makeup representative mistakenly inputs information into another field, DH Hair Makeup will generate a document that outlines all conflicts. The department head must simply add the overwritten information back into the file. Double check your looks for the day and print out any reports or bag tags. To create a remote file, close your current project file to return to the home page. Tap the Remote tab. Add and name your remote files for all onset hair or makeup representatives. We recommend naming the file for the onset rep. Then, share the remote file in the desired manner to the onset crew member for whom it was created by tapping Create Remote File. To avoid extra work and overwriting, remind your onset crew member to only attach notes in the onset subsection of the look window. They should also remember to attach and label all of their photos prior to resending their work back to their department head. You can print blank character tags with separate tags for each character look number. Remember to include all the products you purchase for that character in your character bag section as you design your looks. Some users handwrite in all the products on their looks tag as they design their looks, then transfer all the product information to the character bag section of DH Hair Makeup. Other users include all products directly in the character bag section of DH Hair Makeup as they purchase them. Choose a workflow that works best for you. DH Hair Makeup allows you to create a budget as you design looks if you choose to use this feature. It's a great help in tracking hot costs and the disposition of expendable items, rentals, and builds. Tap the Characters button to display the main character window. Tap Tagum, and a window will open where you can choose to print the front, back, or both sides of the labels. This is also where you will choose your printer. Printing out look tags from the character view will print out all look tags for the selected character. To print an individual look tag, first select and open the window for the desired look. We recommend using the Brother QL710W and the QL810W, but DH Hair Makeup also works with Dymo printers via a link to your Mac and with our free remote label printing app. Visit scriptysystems.com to download it. You can leave matching photos for each look and even import scene-by-scene -scene reminders for your onset crew directly in DH Hair Makeup's project file. Tap the Character tab and a window will open showing you all of the character looks, bag info, and scenes. Touch Look 1 and it will highlight gray. Tap Required for this scene and a window will open leaving room for supervisor notes and onset notes. Enter reminders for onset crew members in the supervisor notes section. Tap the Master Photo button. You can leave establishing look photos for your crew. Use the tabs over the photo field to mark your photo as None, Test, Look, Established, or Detail. Open the remote file sent to you from the hair or makeup department head. Tap the scene you will be shooting. Then tap the character look you'll be tracking and the Required for These Scenes tab will open. Make your continuity notes in the Onset Notes section for your characters. Remember to limit your work to these areas 
to the Onset section. Continuity photos can be added to a scene using the VidPix, Select, and Add buttons. The VidPix button will open a search window and search for a VidPix signal on your Wi-Fi connection. If you have a VidPix signal available, simply link to the host computer and choose from the entire section of photos available. The Select button will open a menu to various photo libraries available on your iPad. Tap the Capture button and take a photo using your iPad. Tap Use Photo. Remember to leave a detailed note in the Notes section. As you capture continuity stills, a file of photos for each scene will be paired to that scene. Tap the Delete button to delete the open continuity still. Note that VidPix photos are only available to users of the VidPix app and a Mac application that takes a constant stream of stills from the video feed on set and lets users of DH Hair Makeup and other apps by Scripty Systems take advantage. Tap the Master Photos tab to view all of your photos. Use the Flag As section to mark photos as None, Test Look, Established, or Detail. As your on-set crew finishes their day's work, they should share with you their remote files. Remember, you need to sync all remote files before importing script revisions and before generating new remote files. It is important to first have your project file open before importing a remote file. From here, double press the Home button and navigate to your Mail app and find the email that contains the remote file. Long press the remote file icon and choose DH Hair Makeup. Then, close your project file. Tap the Remote tab on the desired project folder. Tap Sync Remote File to update your master file. When the remote files return to you from the onset crew, they should have all the continuity photos from set already attached. To choose the photos that will be printed in the book, select a character. Next, select a change. Then, Tap Master Photos. Tap the Add button beneath the Master Photos list to add a new master photo. Identify the photo as established or detail, then tap the Continuity button to select an onset photo. The onset note will be used here, but you can change it if necessary. The default setting for all scenes is Not Started. You can mark a scene as complete, or start it. Tap the Script button and select the scene in the list on the left. Tap the button next to Status in the Chronology section. Each tap advances the status. Started, Completed, and Not Started. DH Hair Makeup allows you to print out the look sheets for your final book. Tap the Character button and the character from which you'd like to print out your look sheets. Tap the Reports button. Select the look sheets report and then preview, email, or print the look sheets. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, and to subscribe to our newsletter, email tech support at scriptysystems.com. For more information, visit scriptysystems.com.